Okay. Um, we're doing good now. 500 years. Let's save that. Didn't we do a 400? Yeah, we did a 400. Yep. Okay, so we got four. I got one more unobtainium. I probably should have put Nuggetoid Factory here, but is what it is. Pretty damn close anyways. Um, Pretty damn close anyways. One, start production. Don't need that anymore. Ah, I can't box it. Damn. Right, because I can't build it as a builder bot anyways, so... I get that. That makes perfect sense. Now, what if I can I upgrade this and then box it? We need more builder bots. Is what we need. And I need more space age stuff in order to get builder bots. I never checked, but I'm going to assume that we can't builder bot residentials, because that would be. A game changer for sure. I definitely can't build or buy you, but if I upgrade you, can I build or buy you? Even if you're empty right now. Like I said, builder bots and nuggetoids are going to be our saving grace on this thing. That is how we are going to colonize the universe, my friends. Okay, we got 19. We are evening out on oil, so let's look for some more oil. Um, I thought I threw one down here that we haven't added to yet. Yeah, that's a huge one and a huge one. Doesn't make a whole lot of difference right now because we need all kinds of oil. Can I get on the other side? Nope. We need all kinds of gas and we need all kinds of iron. Let's get those in check way before we go gallivanting around the universe. I have no water for the next six minutes. Uh, as much as it feels like a waste of points, I gotta do it. Get out of here. Let's get back to where we were. And God damn, come on, man. Let's get this done. Terraformer, yeah, that's great, but we don't need to terraform our own planet. We should work on balancing our own planet first. Okay, we're in spring. What's our up? We're at full capacity. Six forty-eight. No, six thirty-two. <laughs> There's something around there. I need about four hundred more to be happy, and then I need to skip at least a single winter in order to get all the stored stored water in there. Once we get that, then we're we're okay. But until that point in time, we're not okay. We got to keep skipping shit, and that's not how this game's supposed to work. I don't think. Oh, the void is causing a disturbance in my city, eh? Miss Controller is uh, trying to control my citizens.
Who would have thunk it? Yeah, I'm just hinging on like just the bare minimum of stuff except for my my stone, which is a radi ridiculous amount here. So let's see if I can get rid of like a thousand or all that. Yeah, 27 is not, not bad. 500, don't need it. 200, 444, 333. Looks good to me. How about you guys? What you got? You got some fuel and oil. I'll take it for 333. 444. Perfect. All right. I think I'm starting to figure out a loophole in trade. Um, 200 for all your steel, all your oil. Bit your plastic? Just a bit. I didn't want all of it. 25 plastic it is. Alright. Why did I build that? Oh. Oh, right, right. Okay, well, let's get this 72. And then we'll build or bought it. How many people do I have? 187. Couriers Huts, where are you? Yeah, there we go. Max all those guys out. Let's update a few. I don't think that matters at all. It's just more materials, but... Yeah, we got 5 out of 5 Nuggetoids on this planet. That is awesome. They're, they are certainly helping our cause just a little bit here, but they are going to help our cause infinitesimally <laughs> later on in the future here. All right, let's go get that gas mine. Atmospheric water harvester. Waiting for... Really, really need... Well, we got our hydro colliders. Let's start with that. Get these um, ASAP on these lakes. We got the steel, we got the chemicals for it. Thank you for putting these in our possession here. Eventually, I can fit them on this lake somewhere. Yep, thank you. Oh, that's that's almost a thing of beauty. Not fully yet. We're not Mona Lisa, but we're getting there. I think that's all the lakes. Yeah. Okay, let's start with prioritizing the big lake. Kind of a necessity. And we're back to angry for some reason. I don't know. The oh, orators are in our city. It's not like we're going to find them now, man. Are you guys all happy? Almost all happy. Not completely. If I make it rain, does it make you happy? Do you believe in me when you see clouds? Yes. Send it. Damn. Some brave ass mammoths and bears. If I was a if I was a bear, I wouldn't go there. If I was a bear, I wouldn't care to go there.
Arrow infusion. All right. Next step closer. We're so close. Doesn't matter because it's just an oxygen refill station and we don't particularly need that until like deep space, I think. Iron mine. All right. Give me your builder bot. You can build a bot. Yeah. And I never thought I would be so excited to see those creepy little bastards, but knowing the strategy now, yeah, I think it's a, it's a damn good strategy. We're going to take Nuggetoids and Builder Bots everywhere we go. And other than that, we don't need Nuggets. Oh, you're mad again? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm putting down some parks, so don't be so pissed off. You guys can chill out for a second. There we go. We got the plastics. We got the supplies. Let's get a spaceport. And then, yeah, we'll just put the Cosmodrome right here. Why not? Okay. Yeah, I didn't need that road. That's fine. That was my first time uh, snapping something to a surface and... Uh, Failed miserably. Cool. No problem. Yeah, anytime you guys want to all complete, you're totally welcome. Let's get people in these hydro colliders. Let's get them pumping chemicals and steel into the lakes. Because, I mean, like, the best water always comes from chemicals of steel right that's what I prefer in my Brita filter chemicals and steel This is a full lake too, isn't it? How are we looking on this full lake? 80% And I'm out We need to get over here. Just the jankiest roads to ever jank themselves into existence. All right, spaceport's getting built, Cosmodrome's getting built, cryogenic distillation is done, we are on nanotube technology, so we are going to get the modern pumps as well, pretty much right at almost the same time as these things are going to be ready to rock, go, just start spitting your chemically steely soup <laughs> into these lakes, please, that's what we need right now. Is just steel spit. It's going to be part of the equation, but not all of it. We need, 
we totally need the other pumps as well not just upgrades but we need an additional on a majority of what we're doing But we're almost there. We got acoustic on the way. What do we got in space age? Oxygen generator that we don't need yet. Ever or if ever. Haven't used one yet because it doesn't make sense where, you know, they can breed just fine for the entirety of their duration before the planet's terraformed. So what do we need the generator for? I guess it's easier, but it consumes materials I want to say exactly what materials but I don't know what they are so <laughs> all right let's keep getting more chemicals up and running and what does that do for our oil 23 over 18 and 33 over 17 that means more oil needed let's do that let's go find some giant desert of oil that we haven't touched yet let's knock that up there we go feels like I need to use all this for like industry but really you know my six steel mills Two electronics plants probably need two more right here if I can fit them let's put my money where my mouth is here whoa did not intend. It feels like it's there. It just needs the angle. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Two electronics plants, just like that, smashed in between eight chemical factories, a spaceport, and, and then some exactly how God intended it and we are at acoustic nanotube technology yeah let's get all the water things um yeah we need all the water things cable state bridge I knew we needed this for something and space bridge is it observatory you've let me down already I'm gonna save for that but gas mines um, and the extractor so we can start getting the the parts for the big moosey that we got over there the big down moosey I'm just gonna collect a lot a lot of these um, I do need more storage space though and did we get the upgrade yet we did sweet and you too but like yeah we need to upgrade the shit out of our storage because we need it everything's maxed out right now I'll even do a prior prioritize because that's how bad we're in need of storage priority level of storage What do we got? Accelerated studies, do it. Should have more educated than non, but we still have some non, so accelerated studies. Why are you guys mad now? Dude, I have given you everything to make you happy. Do you want um, a theater? And I know we agreed to put a theater somewhere kind of spectacular, like over here the exile world <clears throat> no no downtown core right come on what am I thinking 
our most densest part of this entire planet that I've now lost. No, we're right here. There it is. Kind of hard to miss, but this is going to be the epicenter of entertainment. And if it makes you guys less criminally, then even better. Let's see what our rehab center is looking like. If I have one. I do not. All right. <laughs> so let's put a, a rehab center down and then we'll figure out what it looks like. That must have been pre-crash. That is a good spot. You're right. Let's get some rehab going on so we don't have like 19 criminals out of a thousand people. Not a bad ratio. Not a great ratio. Alright, I got no unobtainium. I have no use for this building at the moment. We're going to turn it off. Save our pittance of water and electricity. But we need to actually get that in action very soon again. How am I looking though? Uh, plastics, not great. So I think I need to turn on that plastic factory again. Let's get that over a thousand. And let's get you guys up to there. I'm just going to add those other three workers. See where that goes. At 1.7, we're not using a lot. So we should be able to get to a thousand pretty fast on that one. Iron. Um, yeah, glass is doing okay. Cement's doing okay. Chemicals, I want like a million of them. Just, we had a million chemicals. I could sleep well tonight. Too bad tonight is already passed and we're into like sleep well this morning. But, maybe I'll sleep well later today. <laughs> maybe not. Who needs sleep anyways? Don't need don't need everything else pretty cool what do you guys warehouse and an eatery yeah let's do it We're just, come on, come on. Oh, we're not going to make it. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Everything's going to run out of water for a second. We're going to, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, no water, no water. Copy, copy, copy. Yeah, it's going to take a second for us to get through this. But it's warm now, so you don't have to worry, right? Everything's coming back. You're all good. You're all good. You're gonna make it. You're gonna make it. Don't you worry, your pretty little dinging head. Do we have them yet? Space age water pumps. Exactly what we need. Every lake cannot survive without one of these. But really all we need is one per lake. And going forward, just the same, where they're going to work through the winter. They pump a hell of a lot of gear. Um, I know there's another one. Yeah. This be the one. Instead of upgrading my modern ones, I'm just going to build another one. And I think 
I think if we've done this right and we just like by the skin of our teeth we did this right but if we did this right then we have zero water problems going on from now on as long as we don't have don't have any chemical problems or steel problems which are two entirely different animals but keep feeding the planet oil gas and iron and then we shouldn't have any steel problems or chemical problems and I think that's what the whole game is about is feeding mother planet oil steel and gas or oil iron and gas if we get those three things then we have no problems with anything else so let's do that let's, let's get some shit got some electronics these things are faithfully trying to fill these lakes up as much as possible which I understand is a massive task at the at this point in time but we have materials to accomplish that I might need to open that next steel mill that other steel mill again so let's do that turn that bad boy on let's get these guys rocking back and forth again we got enough steel to compensate right now the Cosmodrome looks so small compared to the spaceport but the spaceport is infinitely more important than the Cosmodrome in this particular version. And just to tech, check, what, what Rick are we on? We are on 20. Okay, let's go back. Um, I did save at 400 or 500 right don't glitch out on me please 400 years 500 years yes we saved there all right good and we're at rick 20 am i correct yeah so let's do rick 21 25 Okay, let's get a few more clones in the pipeline. Not a lot. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at, yeah, chemicals are just incredibly hard to come by on the scale of things because it's just such a massive amount of materials that have to go into making them. Electricity, food, oil, gas, nuggets, all that stuff. But we're going to try this with our V6 here. Or no, our V8. We got a V8. V6. <laughs> Auxiliary V2. We're going to see where it goes. And so I've got a, a quick strategy for the spaceport. So once that's built, we'll do that. But uh, we actually need a lot more Nuggetoid stuff, which is over here, in order to get to that. Um... Precise, I don't use. Dual, I do. We need deep secrets for this. So that's where we got to go way the fuck back here. Unlock that. And then we can carry on with more important things over here. And I need that for the Nuggetoids. So let's just get past that part of research. Get to deep secrets. Have that unlocked. And then we'll carry on.
Yeah, definitely not breaking any speed records on this one, but... I'd like to get through it in one sitting. I mean, I stood a couple times, but... Okay, so we got the Cosmodrome now. It's gonna make us, make us do this, which sucks. Because now that I have the strategy, I don't care about their first order. Their second order, it's, it's up to you. But our first order, we just have to have engineers, water pump, reservoir, battery, Warehouse Hydro Collider, 40 food. Um, okay. Let's get back down here. It doesn't make a lot of sense to do this. I wish they would teach us the right way to do it before they taught us to do it like this, but I'm going to kind of try and teach you the right way. Or my way. I can't say the right way. Because I don't know. 50 nuggets, 40 food, 20 steel, 20 chem. Five nuggets. Forty food. Twenty chem. Twenty steel. Right? So that's all we need here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all my nuggetoids and how many builder bots do I have on hand? Oh, uh, I wish you would tell me. I don't have an inventory of builder bots yet. But that's what I'm going to try and take right now on this first order. Yes, go. I don't know how many builder bots I have because it doesn't tell me until we get into the trade menu of things and I'm fearing that goddamn thing because it froze our damn game last time. So I'm just going to wait for this to be built. I'm going to save the game and then we're going to head off to the moon. We're going to see what we can do. Oh, is this... Who is this? Who are you? <laughs> if it isn't Cassie herself causing a disturbance in my city. But until that point in time and I'm going to go around to all my hydro colliders and I'm going to hire people because we need these desperately. But we only need two in each one. So let's leave it at that. Let's let the cards lay where they may. And uh, we should be able to balance our systems off of that one. That was a long wait. 528 years to get to Hydro Colliders. I'm going to give that a long friggin' wait. I probably could have gotten that sooner. But, you know, me playing it like the way I do. And in retrospect, I should have put that Cosmodrome right here on this little jank over here. I didn't, though. Can I put this here? Yes, I can. Come on. Do something with it, right? There we go. Much nicer. Okay, water pumps are coming up. We might have to skip one more. Totally cool with that. We're going to get this balanced. The fire department's better better take care of that because I'd be pretty pissed if they didn't. Just about balanced here though, guys. Make sure I've upgraded. Yes, I will lose the electricity for the upgrade. Doesn't really make a lot of sense that I'm losing it when there's no capacity on a wind turbine, but. And let's upgrade a couple batteries. One, 
Yes. See? Might cause the following issues. Might. 1,602. Like, why would you... Why would one battery take away all my power? But I'm just going to upgrade a little bit at a time because I think the upgrade system is a little messed up still. Yeah, give me your builder bot. Let's go get some unobtainium. Builder bot you. So if anybody's watching at this point in time, uh, always build your bot your buildings. Never take their materials because you have enough materials at this point in time. But when you have builder bots, you can build them anywhere. Absolutely anywhere in the entire universe. So just think about that. Is Do you want to spend precious time building stuff? Or do you want to just have it done? And then builder bots are the resource for you. <laughs> huh. Um, you'll probably do this, right? Alright, let's get two of you on here. Not a Rick. Ricks aren't into that. We'll get a Smiles, though. I'm glad Smiles stopped by. Um, let's upgrade one. Doesn't do anything for production, but let's upgrade one. Just aesthetics. Let's stop wasting chemicals just a bit. Are you at 85? Yeah. We're going to get this planet back to perfect because of technology. So thank you, technology, for making this happen at 929 up. It's going to take a minute. Like, we got to skip some shit. But when we get there, not gonna matter because everything's all kind of balanced rehab center let's assign who are we gonna assign to the rehab center um everybody else is asleep so let's do a clone and a purple heart compassionate purple hearts we love those kinds Okay, we got a rocket ready to launch. I'm not going to yet, but we got it ready. Where are we? Was that a tease? All I'm going to do is save first because I don't trust any of these systems. Okay. So I got it saved pre-launch. Let's launch this bastard and see if it doesn't freeze our game. Yes. Let's go to the moon. Go. Go. So far so good. Nothing's on fire. Computer is a little warm, but it's fine. I'm just happy I can do this thing on a laptop, man. Remnant recovery protocol, all right. We have one of those. Let's recover it. Where is it? Show me the green, please. Somewhere around here. There it is, in the middle of fucking nowhere. Out of sheer curiosity, I'm just gonna see what it does. <laughs> if we build it with a million miles away I know exactly what it's gonna do so I'm gonna cancel that 
we're gonna have a line of dead bodies from here to there so we gotta build out and we gotta use well I'm, I'm gonna try and use decent roads and that is the decent road of the territory here so let's do that that isn't I don't really care about that one but we're gonna put it on the corner anyways give him some water because we have to especially with this area of effect thing we have to put down water now that I know that there's an area of effect it has to be there <laughs> 1530 up damn man we might even make winter we might technology is amazing Forty eight hundred. Yeah, we gotta upgrade our batteries. Where are my batteries to upgrade? There's one. Let's prioritize that. We got plenty of materials for it. Alright, can we get, we're nowhere near space cemeteries, right? Like a million miles away. Um, we need the nugget stuff, or nugget toy stuff though. But it's in both branches, isn't it? Air filter, don't care. Lithology, yeah, let's go. I need these guys, like, before I go anywhere, we gotta upgrade our nugget toys to full capacity. They're kind of useless without it. How are we doing on food? Okay. Just okay. We got some builder bots though. So. As creepy as they sound. And I think that sound is like this red herring. Where you, you don't want to use them because they're just creepy little fuckers. But. I think I figured it out. Where we, we have to use robots in order to get across the universe and that's going to be the best way to go and you just got to trust me for a second or longer than a second and we're going to find this out together because <laughs> I had I think I have a strategy and I haven't tried it yet but we'll find out if it actually works or not as long as the game doesn't destroy itself on us which is Entirely possible. Entirely possible. How many educated we got? Beautiful. Universities work like a charm. Why do I have an engineer set out here? Um, because we're trying to get to space object right and I think it's over here somewhere all right well stand by let's wait for what locusts I'll be back in a second
All right, we're back. What a miss. Oh, good. Everybody's asleep, so nobody's gonna blow up anything. Kind of the nice part of having a semi-balanced planet at this point in time is I can walk away for a minute and not everything's on fire as soon as I leave. I unlock their space technology of Alchemixer. Okay. Well, that's uh, something we're going to need in the future, but not right now. Deep Secrets? Hell yeah. What else we got? We are coming up at the end of the tree there, and that's pretty awesome. Um, I guess that's going to be useful. Carry capacity is super useful. 141 points. That's 100 out of the 40, 141. Hidden objects detection. Maybe we can actually benefit from that now, but I'm not going to rely on it. Let's go for the iron mines. I don't think it's actually going to unlock the power plant because we didn't go that route, but if it unlocks a power plant and we can use some gas, why not, right? Because... I wouldn't mind a bit more power here. We're just balancing even right now. Um, because I haven't dropped a single <laughs> single solar panel in this entire run. So let's let's start dropping some solar panels. Shall we? Just start with those. And we're gonna need a hell of a lot more. That's a demand of technology though right now. So we're going down. We got 18 minutes left of winter. And I think we can make it. I'm going to have to skip probably one or two more winters. But on the plus side, we're not going like all the way down to zero every single time. So I got 18 minutes left. We're going to make through this winter. It's going to be a little tricky. Can we be here for the moment that it goes down to zero? Is this going to let us? I've never seen a mine extract its final resource before, so in some ways this is exciting. Very few ways, but some ways it's exciting one left all right <laughs> we got a whole hundred percent to wait for one uh, is it worth it probably not pretty sure my guys took you down. Yeah, just like that. A couple hours ago. And I think the strategy is true in every era of this game where upgrade everything before you do anything else. Just you want to go to space? Well, make sure your entire planet isn't in medieval age, you know? Let's let's get everything to space age here 
and then carry on from that. Where it's going to take a lot longer than you would expect, but... Alright, iron mine, no more resources. Perfect. I actually like hearing that because we can build or bot these guys. Alright, we're looking at 13 minutes left. Yeah, plenty of time. Let's see what we can do with the drinking water. They might start dying of thirst. That That, that is a very, very real issue we could have. Well, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome into Strange Topia. We are slowly but surely getting back to space and terraforming stuff. But uh, I learned my lesson from the last time, and uh, I'm just going to keep my ass on Mother Planet until Mother Planet is entirely stable, and then we're going to go from there. But I appreciate the value. Thank you very much. And let's keep a contraception band there. I guess it's probably time to upgrade these guys. Not that anybody's really paying attention to fishing huts, but if you are, <laughs> let's undust these. All right, we have finally, this is the first year. So if you're just starting to watch, this is the first year we have actually balanced our water in a bunch of years where I needed to make it to modern pumps. I needed to make it to hydrocolliders and we finally did. And I think we're going to be good from here on in. I know we're low on water right now, based on what we have in our stored. But we're just in spring now, and we got 1788 up, so we're going to make it. And I'm just going to go around. I'm going to slowly upgrade everything. I'm going to make sure that. Our planet is ready for space age when space age hits. And that is a lot of things to upgrade. We got time, man. I'm not trying to rush into space anymore. We saw some planets last time. And they're cool. But I also understand that if you rush into it, your home planet is never going to make it out of the, for a long run. So we're just kind of taking our time, chilling out. Opening up a bunch of upgrades. Getting to the end of the research tree. We need more points. And I need to send nuggets down to the mines like five or six more times in order to actually get that. But we get all the stuff we can unlock. We'll do that. And let's go back and send our nuggets to the mines. If we can find them again around here somewhere.
Yeah, contraception ban all the way. I know the expedition camp is somewhere around here. I just have to find it. Behind a building somewhere? Playing hide and seek? Oh, it's like, I'm looking at it. I know it. I know it's somewhere here. <laughs> Alright, fine. We'll find it the good old fashioned way. Yeah, like right in front of me and I couldn't see it because I haven't upgraded it and it just blends in. So we'll give it a second to upgrade. Hundred percent. It's kicking in, but it's taking a lot too. Yeah. Chemicals are taking up to three point four a second or a minute, sorry. We're doing 29 33 in and 13 so we're still just ahead of the curve on iron let's bump that curve up just a bit sure I got no iron mines that are sitting empty here do right there and a gas mine same thing all right so that's gonna help our numbers a bit let's celebrate with an upgrade to the surrounding area and a gas mine and that leaves me with 146 unemployed oh space age a lot of materials just to build some water and a garbage road did we already launch that rocket yes we did good so here's my strategy all right yes get out of here I don't I don't need any of this stuff I don't need to pick buildings I just need to pick materials and that's the best part about this. So I'm going to take like 30 food. Just we need more steel beams than anything on every expedition. Couple herbs, couple planks, couple bricks. And I'm just going to try and fill this to three quarters if I can. Bit of cement. Cement's really heavy, so it gets heavy fast. I don't know why electronics are so heavy, because I guess they're valuable or whatever. And I'm going to just send, like, five Nuggetoids. Or Nuggets at this point in time. And, uh... Or even if I don't build here. Okay, so we got to go back. One Nuggetoid, or Nugget Builder Bot is too much. With the amount of stuff we got, we don't need food. If we're not sending anything else so let's see if I can get that down let's get cement down a bit yeah there we go all right that'll be good enough so I'm gonna order this I'm just gonna send a builder bot and some supplies up to the moon and we're gonna stop there and we don't need oxygen we don't need terraforming we don't need any of it we just need to get a rocket to the moon and then start adding supplies from other planet via the spaceport and when we get to a certain amount of supplies what it's what we choose then we'll go colonize the moon and it's going to take like i don't know 20 minutes tops to get to oxygen and that is the plan good morning azuri you should not be up so early and i should not be up so late Everything okay up there? My 
Dodi. Alarm just went off. Man, I get you. Yeah, it's kind of crazy how time passes. <laughs> Where it does not feel like it is this early in the morning. How'd you sleep? Oil jack's not looking so good. Where's my engineers? Right there being built. So give them a second, alright? If you give it a second, they will fix your shit. If you don't give it a second, they're gonna uh, strike. Good. I'm glad you knocked out and got some sleep. Crazy thing is, is I think I'm onto something, babe. As much as that sounds like an excuse to keep playing where <laughs> partially it is, but also partially it's like, okay, um, I think we can do something here in this small time span which is still a long time span but small in the scheme of things I think uh, I think I want to just finish this game in one sitting I don't know what that means for today but It's there, and the potential is there. I'm not like saying I'm gonna be done in the next half hour or nothing, but the potential is totally there to just do this. Okay, 30s. Slowly pumping out rigs. I appreciate it. I would love a coffee, thank you.
Oh, then we should probably assign somebody to the engineers, yeah? And we're just all immortal nuggets right off the bat. That's generally not a good sign. We kind of want some of the normies in there, in the mix. Seen this a couple times and it means that the game is kind of not glitching out, but I've done something wrong to usurp the balance there. Okay, don't worry about it. We got engineers in here. Let's get you some breakfast. Breakfast sandwiches and fire retardancy. That makes the world go around. And some storage, because there's never enough of that. <laughs> All right, folks, we're getting ready for space age. We're not there yet. We could be, we could just blast off to space now and, uh, We'd enjoy it for a couple of hours, and then our entire world would just be like, yep, fell apart. So we're not going to blast off yet. I'm going to send nuggets, or I'm going to send some stuff over there. Especially because I have five nuggetoids that I don't rely on. Or I had five nuggetoids, maybe I packed them in here. Did I? No, I did not. I don't know where my nuggetoids are. I think they're already on the moon. I'm not going to launch this because I think it would be glitchy as shit. I'm going to save before I do anything rash. So all we're going to do is just go around and upgrade some stuff. Wish I wish it was like the rejuvenate button because it would save trillions of clicks. coming together though <laughs> keep knocking those boots okay Chemicals are starting to get where we need them to be. Electronics are not. Steel beams still lagging behind. So let's unpause one steel mill. Plastics I'm just going to let ride for a bit. Nope. Cancel that. That's the one I was looking for. Okay. Now water is looking really good. We got 39 minutes. We're running all year long because of the new pumps. We're pumping in because of the hydro colliders. I don't know if we're going to have a problem with that anymore. We're going to have a problem with trees, though, because we we're like 6,000 trees short of being perfect on that one. So that's the next step is we got to figure out a way to stop them from cutting down trees. And is that just logging camps? Like having like six, seven logging camps or something like that? I don't know. We've upgraded our logging camp. So let's see. We can fit four on there, at least. Lumber camp, sorry. No, we haven't upgraded it because we haven't gotten to that. I just felt like we probably should be there by now. Because you figure trees are probably the least hardest thing to grow. But maybe I'm wrong. Thank you, 
<laughs> Regardless, we're gonna keep just picking away. Upgrade a couple things here and there. I think maybe that's the only reason they didn't give us the rejuvenate power or the upgrade thing is you could upgrade everything all at once but also it's it still keeps you honest I mean that circle isn't that big you know so if we needed to upgrade three things in the same area that's the way to do it I think we should spread a word start a petition or something All right, 1,000 CP. Let's go plant some trees just to try and combat this whole disease that is us. And I'd like to blame it on myself entirely most of the time, but it is you guys too, man. You know, like <laughs> a handful of you contributed to this situation just the same. I wouldn't be at this had I not had chat going at it pretty damn hard. Hate the sound of the builder bots? Love the concept. Let's upgrade again. Not needed yet. <laughs> Hit the pavement and start spreading the word? I appreciate that. You do you. Just don't go for an exile city. Because, you know, that'd be wrong. Be like one of these people. Beermies and Cassies. Oh my, you know. <laughs> In the world of Beermies, be in Missouri. There's nothing, nothing like a fresh cup of coffee sometimes. And now is one of those times. Hmm. Thank you. All right, Rick 36 to 40. Cloning should not be this difficult. I know and understand the irony in that statement. Cloning in a game should not be this difficult to clarify. You like this world? I I, I missed uh, the concept of what you were replying to. What was okay? One thousand four hundred forty-two herbs. Yeah, I think we're pretty set. But I'm su still gonna upgrade that farm. And we gotta go get more unobtainium, and that's the the uh, the pressing matter 
right now where it's like you got to go get obtainium but is your world ready for this and quite frankly no it's not yet we got to groom this thing a little bit more little by little bit by bit we're not running out of anything but we could if we upgraded everything so we got to be careful of that and I see we like it's somebody else's fault but mine <laughs> just to pass the buck a bit Probably shouldn't follow the road. That road doesn't have a long lifespan, for sure. Oh, you leaving for another city? Where are you going? Where are you going? Nah, you're right here. You can spend your money See, if you were leaving... Thank you for the subscription. I appreciate that. Yeah, out of all the moments of a stream, that was the last moment I was expecting to be subscribed to. But thank you very much. <laughs> so we got one of our Twitch viewers in in this exile city over here, and they've just been chilling, and they're they're doing great. They're thriving, living their best. And then if we look over here at our third Twitch streamer. He's their fucking neighbor. <laughs> so literally one out of three of my Twitch streamers is in my city. <laughs> Nerfed gamer though. I appreciate your sub subscription all the way, man. Thank you very much for contributing. And I'm going to upgrade this and I know it's counterintuitive because we should just be destroying it, but I'm going to do this because it's actually going to save me resources in the future. Glass factory is not going to do me nothing except make more work because we need more glass. We need to surpass a thousand mark before I can close another one down. And it all sounds like crazy talk, but... I have a plan. I haven't entirely described my plan, but I have a plan. Thank you very much. I appreciate that you get a kick out of this. Because I do too. And that's the only reason I do it. If I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't be doing it. And I should hope so the same to anybody that's doing anything in their lives. Oh, you don't sleep for long, eh, Beer Me? That alarm clock goes off, and I've only been streaming for like 11 hours. You totally betrayed, because look where you are, sir. You were actually in Zagonia. This is how you treat us, eh? Alright. You know, like one, once uh, Controller Cassie went over here, you're just like, you know what? I want to be her neighbor, not his. And uh, that's what you did. This is your city. This is Controller Cassie's. And all we have left in chat, the only loyal subject of Strange Topia is Azuri. Your internal clock isn't kind to you? Well, I, I appreciate that like one of the first things your internal clock did was come back to Strange Toby. Because <laughs> we are still just picking away on Mother Planet. And we're just upgrading some stuff, getting through some research. Almost right at the end of the tree here. We got Space Burial finally. And uh, I'm going to take off after this. But we just got to get to this point. You know, a couple more hours and we're going to space and 
do the game and finish off what we're supposed to. Hope you had a good sleep though. Thanks, Ben. One thing I'm a fan about this game is that's all it is. Like when when it gets big enough, just pick away at like little bits of it at a time. Don't try and take on like the whole section. Just a little bit. See something that needs upgrading, take it. But like if there's like 40 things that need upgrading, do like three. And then walk away. And then come back to it sometime later in the game. You did thank me? Well, I thank you for being here and spending a little bit of your time with this. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, we need more electronics. Just a little bit. Not the whole lot, but just a little bit. Oh, no, no, she doesn't. I, I, I pay her more than you would. But now she's thinking about it. <laughs> Off for the next four days. Damn. What did you deserve that? You get like half fired? I haven't seen that tonight. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's sunlight. <laughs> Thank you, world, for constantly reminding me that you're evolving. Can we? Yes. All about the bots. As creepy as they sound, that is what we're gonna take the entire universe over with. It's friggin' bots. I hate to admit it, but that's what we're doing. These little bastards are our key to the future. Ah, three quarter days off? Hey, man. Better than a half a day off. If my math is right, and we have no workers, how do we have no workers at a 175 and 175 are unemployed, but only 29 available? How's that work? How's that math work? Don't make damn sense. Oh, hi tornado. How you doing? Please just not do not pet the dog, sir. Thank you. All right. I hate your sound, but I love your purpose. So, as long as you got that going. <laughs> yeah, why not? It's a big undertaking, but you'll get it done. What do we got here? Toast.
some craft beers, eh? You throw in some craft whiskeys, they'll take it. In fact, it doesn't even have to be craft. It just has to be like right off store-bought shelves. No monk had to brew the whiskey for me to come out. Oh my god, we put down so many damn things that it's just perpetual. Like, I've created little neighborhoods and stuff like that where, and offshoots and all kinds of stuff where, yeah, it's not like just, oh yeah, pick one neighborhood and you're done. <laughs> we have to go through the whole thing. I think it's still worth it though. I'm going to get everything upgraded. Everything balanced, we're going to have at least enough capacity. And the storage thing is is uh, a big part of it. If I have more capacity than I need, then we can actually send shit to the planet. If I'm maxed out when we leave, then what are my chances of sending it, right? Alright, we got 40. Let's do 41 to 45. Two, three, get out of here. Or T5. I like that. I kind of like it. I'm just going to leave it. Or T5. It was, it was an obvious typo, but we're going to go with it. Let it roll. All right, got some Nuggetoid research done. Uh, are you related to anything? You are. Minus four minutes is kind of a big fucking deal. Um, space prison is not so much a big fucking deal. Um, that's pretty cool, but like, what do you need it for? Except for warfare. Let's boot around this way to get to, uh, yes, that is an absolute necessary how do i unlock that cable stayed bridge of course i do like way back over here that totally makes sense in order to charge nuggetoid you have to know how do you make a cable stayed bridge environment doing okay we're doing okay we're we're, we're kicking uh just just the trees because they will always, always incinerate trees, no matter what we do. Whether we need them or not, they're always going to keep kicking down trees. Um, we're going to come back up on the water, because I just got the hydro colliders and modern pumps. So, give me, you know, a few years, and we'll balance back out. I got enough chemicals, and we're doing okay on steel, but we're not doing great. So I'm just going to go over here for a second and open up a couple steel mills so thank you for pointing that out because I thought we were doing great on steel and we're doing okay let's uh, hire some people for that one and let's unpause that mill now we should be doing okay on steel <laughs>
but we are at uh, minus 12.3 on pollution. I just need to rectify trees. Water is going to come back eventually because of space age. Wouldn't want you to miss it. Want you to miss an opportunity to, you know, be a dick or ruin the day. You always play, pray for more, though. Alright, what do we got here? 4T5. Like it. Let these guys go. I'm not really going to waste much more chemicals on these. Alright, we can zap some shit now. God, that fucking walking sound. Kinda brutal. <laughs> I don't know why that's a, that, that's one of those sounds. It's just like, yeah, that's, that's something I'd rather not hear all the time. But must be in some '80s movie. Cold, rainy, muddy. Those are the best conditions for a hike. Because nobody else is around. You can actually just walk a trail by yourself. You know, he'd be like, hi, how's your hike? Blah, blah, blah. It's just like nobody. <laughs> You're there and it's just you. Ninety nine point nine. I love to see that. I don't like to see that though. That's that's probably not a good thing. Where are we going? Oh yeah, yeah, we we're dropping drastically because I haven't put nearly enough solar panels in. Well, let's do that. We got. I totally missed the meteor strike. No, I thought I had time. I thought I had time. What the fuck happened over here? Meteor strike. That's <laughs> eh, salvage. Eh, rebuild. Salvage. And rebuild. Beer five. Oh my my. Well, I only had one tonight. It was just a single full bottle of whiskey. I gotta catch up to those five beers. I'll do that right now. For breakfast? That's pretty brave. Amazingly enough, it's still a meteor strike in the middle of nowhere. I appreciate it. I wasn't expecting that though. Whiskey and eggs? An Irish omelette? Hell yeah. Cement, still good. We're never going to need over a thousand cement. The breakfast of champions. The dinner of heroes. The lunch of martyrs. Do 
Do we need more up? We do not. I think we're gonna make it no matter what. Probably get a bit down. Yeah. Fuck that debris. Lazy the shit out of that thing. Dude, I'm totally down for some home cured bacon. Two out of twelve. All right. So I think that the name of this game is is we're gonna just kind of take a few builder bots. So when gas mines go down and iron and oil mines go down. We're just going to take those and we're going to make them into builder bots and we're just going to forget about them until later. Doesn't sound like a great strategy, but it might turn out to be. Well, not necessarily. Yeah, I mean, FedEx has like freezer trucks and stuff too. I mean, they get food everywhere in the world. I'm not saying FedEx in particular gets food everywhere in the world, but they, they as a general, they get food everywhere. I mean, how do you have, like, sushi in Ohio, right? Yeah, 394. You're really set on Prague, yeah, that's, that's cool. All right, I'm down. Do like Prague Ah, I haven't had one of those in a while. And now I got two. One thing I've learned is these nuggets are fucking thirsty. Everywhere. Everywhere. With the reservoirs. Like a Starbucks. Oh, you really can? Lake Erie Sushi. Oh well, yeah, if it's not glowing green, I mean, what's it worth? Can you, yeah, try it. Try to use single fans. Like, does it still work? I do not know. We have to experiment with this one. Come on, space. Did I make it to space cemeteries? Are we at space cemeteries? We fucking are. Absolutely. Alright, let's get weapon damage up because that matters for like 10 seconds of the game. And yes, let's charge each other, please. And a 10% twin possibility. Hell yeah. <laughs> Where are you exploding? Go. Yeah, do, do your thing. Have at her. Oh, you can't get out of your dome, can you? <laughs> so you can use commands. Like, technically use them. They just don't do anything. 
because you know you chose to uh, exile yourself and it's a nice little colony I'll give you that you got 50 people Begonia you need you need to demand 20 food I mean you're in a great great spot nope he's not gonna do shit he's glitched out now and he's got somebody behind him no he doesn't and uh, yeah <laughs> okay I'm gonna upgrade this one too an oil jack for a little bit of resources and again it doesn't sound like it makes sense and it, but I think it does because these become space age buildings that's a lot of material but I think it'll pay off too No, I guess not. Like, I mean, if you want to come back, we can probably find a way to sacrifice you, but you you look pretty cozy over here. I mean, look at this. This is all... This is... Can I do it? Can I do it? No. Okay, I, I was about to name it after you, but not allowed. That was a failed surprise right there, that's for sure. Oh, you creepy bastards. They're everywhere. Unfortunate part is, is nowhere in this game. Hi, Kevin. How you doing? Nice to see you. Nowhere in this game gives us a count of, of uh, builder bots except for the trade menu. And I'm fearing the trade menu right now based on the fact that it's probably going to freeze the game. And we just have to restart from somewhere. So I'm going to save before I open that fucker up. Yeah, let's prioritize. And that means slow it down a bit. Let's just chill. We got some ropes. We got some matrixes. Matrices. Don't particularly need that. Let's keep going over here. Space eatery. Yeah. And rehab center and lumber camp. Both of those are effectively useless. But space farm pretty useful that's a lot of repressed nugget anger there like I didn't even know myself until I was an adult how are we doing on steel we're doing okay but let's uh, let's ramp it up a bit which in turn we got 40 oil coming in 28 gas that means we need more gas that's a kind of weak spot for it a little bit better 1847 I think that was on a test once Um, there might be. Let, let's uh, let's cure this thing first, and then we'll check if there's pines. Why is there an infected zone here? Let's see. Pretty sure you guys are right there, about ten feet away. Are you glitching out? It just bad at your jobs. Should be fired. Well, we can't put anything anywhere else, so you're gonna have to deal with it. Let's see. Let's see how the pints are doing. Four pages. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah, your lineage carries on, man. Especially when you're immortal and you're now an eternal bomber. I mean, of course you're going to have kids. 
And <laughs> think of all the lessons they're gonna learn. <laughs> Let's see what kind what kind of names your your pint spawns got. We got Balboshi and Chinozu and Chasuki and Chizubu. Yeah, they're all living their best lives. Let's fit, let's let's see what a day in the life of a labor pint labor looks like. It's good. This is a this is this is a good break for me, and I'm just waiting for my <laughs> my resources to pool in. I'm gonna have a sip of coffee. Yeah, you don't walk around all day with it. Walk around half the day, and then it goes off. It's doing all right, though, man. Carrying some resources. That fucking creepy ass sound from those builder bots. I bet if they muted the builder bots, more people would use them. And maybe that's half the point where they know that that is one of the best objects in the game and they just wanted to be so unappealing. That <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, your character is doing some stuff. Or, or spawn of your character. Del Nephis. Pint with two kids. But yeah, you got some pints in the game. For sure. That's what you get for joining early, man. Lineage carries on. Surgical robots, sweet. All right, let's go back into the Nuggetoid. 14 minutes, man. What are you doing to me? I'm like, well, you got time. Just go upgrade your shit. Ignore the damn timer. I'm trying. Scientific focus, all right. We have like three menus on top of each other. All right. <laughs> They give you back your last name? Let's see. We'll never know. Because it's just a family name now. Doesn't look like it though. I can pull you out of your building to figure out. But we'll just wait until you're done doing whatever you're doing with the hubby in there. Sure, it's fine. We got a Rick as a doctor? We got a Rick and a Pint as a doctor. What was the name of the hospital that House worked in? Energy, super low. I don't think that's going to save the day because I'm too late here, but yeah, we're, we're just about out of energy. You stay away. Well, we don't check insurance papers. So, I mean, that's a plus. Like, are you bleeding and do you have money? Yeah, I probably should have been doing this for the last, like, hour. We're going to see. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to make it all the way back up to full here. I was just not looking at all. Tried to balance out the water, and I got that. Food's doing okay. And now we're on power. Make sure power is okay.
Yep. It, it certainly does. All right, let's slow you down for a second. We're gonna find we're gonna find your local battery. We're gonna zap the shit out of it. All right. So as long as you're okay with that, you're not obviously because you always get scared. But that's what we're gonna do until you're okay with it. Let's upgrade a couple. Imagine men's sex get lifted up. By God, um, I'd be like, hey, it's a party trick. You know, I told you I could do crazy things in the bedroom. And here's one of them. Bam. Let's see. Let's see how many solar panels are going to save us right now. Probably a lot. Like a lot more than I currently have. Thank you for the fill on the battery. I appreciate it. Totally needed it. And yeah, we're getting uh, pretty damn low there. <laughs> Because I haven't upgraded batteries and uh, I haven't placed solar panels. That was that was my major problem. Like, yeah, I can run an entire world off of like six windmills, no problem. Can't you? All right, let's see if we can recoup off that after the uh, the help from chat here. All right, if we get power balanced and the wind stays sort of good, we should be good. But yeah, that's the thing with solar power as well. Is we got to like wrap it right around the planet because then we get constant power all day long, wherever day is. Right now, I've kind of got it situated where I had an emergency and I just went with it. Am I doing all right in glass? 